Welcome to Quick Books Questions with Courtney, your place for small business owners who are doing their own bookkeeping to get efficient and quick answers to your QuickBooks questions from a third generation entrepreneur, a QuickBooks advanced pro advisor, and just an all around QuickBooks nerd. If you have a question for me, click the link below to submit your question. All right, let's get to today's question. Okay, so this week's question was, how do I print a profit and loss report from QuickBooks Online? And the second part to the question is, what other reports would you recommend? So I'm going to keep the first question really short and succinct because that may be why you're here for this question. And then the other stuff I'll kind of keep towards the end of the video here. So I'm going to move this over and just let you know that this sample company is a QuickBooks Plus file. So if you see reports in here that you're not seeing in your subscription, please know that different subscriptions have different reports. Okay. So the first thing that you're going to do when you're running a report in QuickBooks Online is you're going to go into the report area. Now I am also using the accountant view. I prefer it to the business view. So if you're not seeing, if my screen looks different, that's why. So you can switch the, to the accountant view and it I think it gives you more information. All right, so go ahead and go to the report section. And the really cool thing is that QuickBooks already has your favorites up there, but hey, if you don't want to have an accounts receivable aging summary, you can uncheck that and it'll go away from your favorites. Um, so the profit and loss report will be under favorites or it'll be under the business overview, okay? So you'll go ahead and you'll select the profit and loss report you'll select the date range that you want whether you want cash or accrual and then there's this handy little print button up here so that's the first way you can also export it to an excel spreadsheet you can email it to yourself too so there's a a, a, a bunch of different ways that you can do that the other thing that i want to um let you know is that you can also change um the profit and loss like you can name it something else or you know it will not allow you to change the date range because that is the date range that you were using, but you're more than welcome to edit that kind of information so that it's a little bit more um, to your preference. Okay, so that's the answer to your question. You go to reports, you select the data that you want, and then you literally click this little print button here and you can print it out. You can email it to yourself or you can, ex you can export it to an Excel spreadsheet. Okay, so if that's all you wanted to know, there you go. Okay, so I'm going to get to the next part of the question. What reports do you recommend? And the answer is going to be depends on your business. So I don't know your business structure and I don't know what you're needing to do. But I highly recommend that you take, I don't know, 30 minutes. So put a, put a pin in where you're at right now, go to your calendar and put a time on your calendar, maybe it's next week, it doesn't matter, but you're gonna put 30 minutes on your calendar and all you're gonna do is you're gonna come into this report section and you're just going to take a look, take a look at all of the different options. Now, the profit and loss and the balance sheet are the standard ones that you are going to need for your tax return to send to your CPA, all those kind of things. But hey, there's a lot of different reports in here. Um, and like I said, if you're seeing reports that you're not seeing in your version, that's because this is the plus file. Um, so yeah, I mean, income by customer, that might be something that you wanna see. Income by um, product. There's so many different reports that it really depends on the information that you need. Now. I will take a little pause for a moment to say it is really critical that you know that the reports are only good as good as the data in your QuickBooks. And what I mean by that is that if you don't feel like you can trust your reports, you need to take care of that first. So if your bank feed is really behind, reports aren't going to work for you, right? If you feel like there's some duplication in there or you get into the report and you start to see, hey, my income is more than maybe my, um, maybe you're using like Square or something like that, and you see that it's about double. Well, you're going to have to do some cleaning up because it sounds like there's some duplications coming over from the bank feed and then your integrator and all those kind of things. But it's important to start looking at the reports so that you can start seeing if things are wrong. But I do wanna caution you that if you're really not sure how to use your QuickBooks Online file, your subscription, um, reach out to somebody like myself, a pro advisor or something like that to help you 
um, make sure that your file is set up properly. So the odds are most times when people cannot trust their profit and loss reports or their reports coming out of QuickBooks, it's because they didn't take the time to strategically set the QuickBooks file up for their specific business. So they just kind of hit the ground running and went through it. Um, sometimes too, you think you're doing just fine and then you send your reports to your CPA and then they're like, well, actually there's some stuff going on here. So really important to know. So I will put a link below as well. Um, if you're just not sure and you really want to see, have somebody hop into your QuickBooks file to make sure that everything's okay. I will also put a link to my QuickBooks health check because that is something that I do as well. Um, okay, so that's it. That is the QuickBooks question of the week. Again, if you have questions for me and would like me to answer your question next time, click the first link in the bio or however you say it on YouTube. For, click the first link to submit your question and I will answer them first come first serve. Have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you next week.